just got the gut walls. I'm doing some trade-ins today. I have three books that I am getting rid of. Um, I just finished reading How Not to Spend Your Senior Year at the beginning of this year. And while I do have a few of these, like Simon & Schuster, like rom-com sort of books, I don't really see myself having loved it enough and have to reread it and everything. There are other ones that I actually prefer much more that I'm like, no, I'm not getting rid of it. But this one I was kind of like, you know what? Mm. And then there's the previously mentioned Little Women uh, Junior Classic Adapted copy. Uh, I'm looking to try and get the proper copy, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn that one in. And then I got Wanted from the Pretty Little Liars series in my book outlet haul that I did recently. But when I ordered it, I didn't realize that I grabbed a hardcover and all my other ones. Like, I have seven. This is book eight, and I have the previous seven books all in paperback matching together. So, seeing as I could just very easily get a paperback for about as cheap, I'm going to go ahead and get that one turned in as well. I only pay like a dollar for it as it is, so I'm not like heartbroken. I'm just a little disappointed in myself for not researching that beforehand. So anyway, I'm going to go bring these in and kind of go from there. They are running kind of a thing at the moment where if you pre-order a book, you get some sort of prize. I'm considering taking advantage of that because there's a couple of books that are being re-released to pay back a paperback soon. And I want to see if maybe I can do one of those. Um, and one in particular, the case for Jamie is supposed to come out in like a week. So, yeah. Anyway, yeah, here we go. So yesterday was a very productive day and this morning has been a little bit too. Um, we have been working on kind of rearranging the apartment a bit and like finishing unpacking the last of the boxes that have been sitting in the second room for ages. And Luna has decided to join me. Thank you. It was her birthday yesterday. Technically it's still today. Okay, this one was born right at midnight, and that one was born just prior, so they're officially three. Big kitty. Anyway, uh, so among the things that we took care of this weekend, I finally unpacked all my posters from the old apartment, which were already sort of worse for the wear from sitting in a box, awkwardly trying not to be folded, but Having been sitting in that box for like, I don't know, eight months -ish since May, they didn't really bear too well. I mean, this one did pretty decently because it's been rolled up before, so it's already kind of in. But my puzzles are a little not so much. They're not flat anymore. They're like kind of bubbly and weird. And I've had a couple pieces like this one is kind of stripped a bit. So it's like peeling off the front. And these corner pieces do not want to stick quite so well. But I do have them up again. So I have my lovely Thomas Kincaid Paris and Thomas Kincaid Beauty and the Beast, which I did last year. I didn't realize I hung it up at the old apartment before I moved, but somehow I managed to find time to do it because it did already have the thumbtack holes in it. And then I have my poor Harry Potter character posters, which have been through every move with me since I left my parents' house. And I'm not sure how I've managed to keep them in even this good a condition all this time, because it's literally just like printer paper with me just drawing directly on it. And it has been taped and repaired so many times that there's probably like five layers of tape in this corner in particular. <laughs> I was just 
there's water stains, unfortunately. Not sure how that one happened. But they desperately need to be redone at some point and like laminated or something so that they actually would last well. Maybe just post them separately instead of having them all like mushed together like this. Because right now, like, they're literally taped together with no caps. So whenever I try and move it, I have to move the whole thing. And trying to put it up there level was insane. <laughs> Uh, and then, of course, I have my family portrait from five ever ago with tiny, tiny me. So, yeah, I put up all of those as well as the marble Funko Pop puzzle as well, which I still don't know where these two pieces are. I managed to find one other piece that had originally been missing. So we're down to, no, we were at like four pieces missing, but now we're down to three because there's these two and then this one. I think that's all that's missing now. But they've pretty much been missing since I put the puzzle together because unfortunately, kitties are not very conducive to puzzle making because they want to play with all the pieces and lose them. Ace. Cut it out. Did you break this already? No. It's just a little sleeve thing. Okay. So yeah. And then for now, we're looking at moving this TV to the second bedroom once everything is kind of settled a little bit further. But the stuffed animals are going to kind of take over. So I've already kind of put them out here since they were in a box in the second room. So that at least they're somewhere. They're pretty much all going to be staying out here. Mm -hmm. So I have to go through my closet and stuff and do some general stuff. But mainly the difference is in the second bedroom where we have gone ahead and set up both of our desks in here. Um, things are kind of still a bit I see over here where we're going to put, put the table there with the TV once that's done. And this. So we have the two desks. My desk, which was at, that I've now taken over. And then this is his new desk setup with the old puzzle table. Um, so yeah. Three monitors because I picked up one from Goodwill last week when I was up and coming for the day. And I bought this new computer chair for me. It's like the one that Ed has over there that he's had for the last few months. So I actually have like a proper, proper computer chair. And yeah, I have everything set up to finish digitizing all our VHS tapes. I still have the rest of this box to kind of go through, um, but those are all the ones that I've done so far, and I need to redo Aeon's ultrasound because there were some sound issues that we were having and we had to readjust the way we were recording the tapes to make sure that the audio problem would go away. It was kind of echoing a bit, so I have to redo that one. And I finally haven't a place to keep my little Spice Patronum canvas. So, because that one's kind of been homeless. It's been on the table in the bedroom. It has been on my bookshelves. It's been on the table next to the couch. Um, it's been kind of everywhere. And then I still have to take out all the trash from assembling the chair and whatnot. But. This morning, I just finished building myself our fifth bookshelf. So now we have one, two, three, four, and five in total. Um, so I have, as I can show, we are desperately in need of it because we have all of these games that have been overflowed from the movies. Because I got more movies from Goodwill that need to be put away. There's all of these books between reorganizing what I've done so far, 
Um, because the last, the fifth wave series used to be on the shelf, but I kind of moved things around to make space properly for this Fantastic Beast screenplays. And then there's these books that I got from Goodwill this past weekend. My library kit and stuff. Um, and there's all of these two stacks of books that I've gotten recently, as well as this stack back here. They just all need a place to go. And this is where I kind of reset things because I had the fifth wave right here. So. I kind of want to do a Harry Potter exclusive shelf, but I don't think I have enough space to technically do it. Because pretty much the only books that would come off is like the little French ones, which is only like a couple. And it already seems perfect to kind of have them all like all the French junior folios together because they all match with the stripes and everything and then there's they will die at the end which is just a placeholder kind of more or less and the ones that I would be adding would be the illustrated copies down there so I don't know I may just leave it like that we'll see so yeah I gotta go fill this up now and see how that goes and once I fill that up so that it's not just a free-for-all for the kitties while I'm gone, I need to take out the trash and I've got to bring stuff to the UPS store to be delivered, to be returned. And somehow find time for lunch and everything and chill before work if I can. So yeah, I'm going to start on that. So I've pretty much finished and it's almost completely full already so I moved some of the stuff from the top of these temple shelves and moved them over here so it's not just completely clear and for now I've just straight up put them in alphabetical order by author because I'm gonna get further into that later if I need but right now I just need to make sure there's space enough that there's not a lot of empty space for the cats to just come and chill out and stuff so I need to figure out what to do with like these little gaps here temporarily but otherwise, I managed to clear all the books from the top of the shelves, get all the video games down there, and yep. Probably move a couple things from over here though, this is pretty stuffed. That'll probably fill up the spaces. But that's about what I got to. So I'm pretty much done. And it's time for trash and errands. Watching it though is how we brought. My older desk out here and this is pretty much where we're gonna have like the laptop set up that's currently in the tiny little office room that we don't really get to use all because it's not very convenient. Um, I still have all my stuff in the drawers that I have to go through and figure out where I'm gonna put them that I can keep them out here or what because eventually we are going to get rid of that one as well as the chair though the back chair is my original desk chair from like Marietta days and it's super broken like the little uh, pole at the bottom that controls how high it is finally broke through and now goes all the way down to the floor where it will scrape the floor <laughs> if you try and roll it so yeah and then this one is just very torn up from kitties using it as a scratching post right in there I have all this to bring out to my car to throw out for trash from the newer computer chairs. There's so much to do. Oh, I need to move the whiteboard back. Oopsies. Okay. Another bo shelf box. So much to do. Can I just say. I can't believe it's saying it's like mid 60s right now. I know it's still kind of fluctuating a little bit from inside versus outside temperatures, but like it's supposed to be 22 out tomorrow and it's like this warm out today. Like, I honestly feel like I should maybe take off my jacket because I'm already a little like, Ugh. but anyway. Okay, so it's like right about 60 maybe. Still. 40 degree drop in a day 
and it's supposed to snow tomorrow because it's supposed to be like 22 degrees and raining. That's insane. But that's also Georgia. <laughs> It's like 2.30, I'm trying to sync my Fitbit to my phone again because it thinks it's like... Oh, there it finally went. Just now. But until like 30 seconds ago, it was convinced it was like 7.30, 8 o'clock uh, ish and thought it was January the 20th. I thought it was a week ago, um, from before it died, after I left it in my drawer for a while. Because I had to replace the band on it, because the purple one, there was a thing, there was a piece that latches the band in place around the face of it, that broke. So it kept breaking open, and whenever it would like, got caught in my jacket sleeve or anything, when I was taking my jacket off at the end of the day, so I bought some new bands. I got this silver one. I got another plum slash purple one. A pink one and like a rose gold one I think. This is super bright. Oh my god. Anyway, so I got four new bands and I'm trying out the silver one and since I just charged it back up yesterday it still was kind of I had the clock like a week off. <laughs> but now it's right. Yay. Anyway, um, I was a little late coming into work, like, to try and get into parking and everything. I usually get here absurdly early. Like, my shift starts at 3.15 and I usually get here an hour, hour and 15 minutes early. But anyway, because so parking is usually crap. But it's pretty decent today, even though I got here at like 2.15. Um, so yeah, I was a little late leaving the house because I just pushed through the end of A Beautiful Mind. I really, really wanted to finish it before work today. I tried to finish it yesterday, but I didn't quite get there. I was like... Ooh. I think we went to sleep at like 1.30 in the morning. And I still had like 40 pages left to read, so, yeah. Which would have taken about an hour. And as it was, it took me right about an hour to finish it. Um, once I finished getting lunch and everything together after my errands. So, but I did finish it. I managed to finish A Beautiful Mind, finally. So that's six books down so far this year and for this month. So... I just need to try and get to one more at least and that should be able to get me to my goal for this month. I was hoping to read like at least seven books this month. So now I just have me before you left and that'll be able to get me where I want to be this month. But I have got like three days so we'll see how that goes. If not, I still have six books down that's still decent. Um, I also have to like message people because I'm probably going to get rid of my copy of A Beautiful Mind. Because even though I enjoyed kind of reading and seeing the differences between the movie and like the actual story for John Nash, this, the way the book reads is so much like a research paper because it's, it's just so detailed in terms of, it keeps going into tangents about Princeton as a school, MIT as a school, and going like the life, like going into such deep detail about the history of different people who John may or may not have had direct contact with at each of these places, and like the history of different things, and going into such depth about the theorems and equations to the point of okay, I like was decent about myself, but short of being someone who is like an actual mathematician who works kind of in these advanced theories like I'm so lost I'm just like kind of glancing over those sections because I don't know what they're talking about I'm just like eh, okay uh, 
but it is kind of shocking how much is just completely different from the movie like almost nothing is the same like pretty much the names of the main people the general plot line of you know him being very reserved and everything and going through school at Princeton primarily and going through schizophrenia and then coming back out of it and getting the Nobel at the end and like how much of a strain it was like for his wife but that's about it like all this other details are just completely different with what actually happened during his episodes like how he was treated because he was in and out a few times and completely skipping over like his other son his first son and like just there's just so much that is different or just plain left out so it took some getting used to that as well um, but I finished it I did the thing I just don't really see myself rereading it because it took a lot <laughs> um, so yeah and now that it's almost 2.40, I'm going to go ahead and go inside and see about reading a bit of me before you, before the shift starts, and just going from there and trying to survive another day on the phones. Fun times.